Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator and I am sharing a setup video for December in my, uh, um, using the Coco Daisy Cedar and Snow collection. I have three different setups and I am going to walk you through them. Let's start with my December documenting. Um, notebook. So this, this cover is from Webster's Pages. It's a pocket size cover, but it fits up to A6 size. It's not available anymore, but I do often use it during like Christmas time. So I, what I did was I trimmed down a simple notebook to be roughly A6 size. There's not really a rhyme or reason to this other than I just prefer this size when it comes to small memory keeping and especially if I'm trying to do daily memory keeping or like every other day memory keeping for a month. Um, this size just works a little bit better for me, partly because I can just like put a four by six photo in if I don't have much else to talk about. Um, and so that I trimmed down off the top, I trimmed a little bit off the side and a little bit, just some trimming, if you will. And then with the extra scraps, I made these little squares um, as little backgrounds and then used a couple of stickers and some more scraps. And I just think it's so cute. I do plan to um, pre-decorate quite a few of the pages because I know myself and I'll just show you as an example. This is last year's. I did not pre-decorate and nothing was completed. So for my brain and my way of crafting, I do need to have some stuff on the page to encourage me to actually like have some momentum with the project. And so I am going to pre-decorate a couple of pages before the month begins. And I also am not going to just document 2024. I'm going to go back and add some photos from previous years because if this is just sort of like a December look back, I can use photos from 2022, 2021. Um, this just is meant to be more of like a December documenting, you know, so past and present. Um, and I have this clip on just as cuteness. Um, so that is my pocket, well, A6 setup using the simple notebook. Um, next is a super simple setup, which is my week's journal. Um, because this notebook from Print Impression um, does not have like decorative pockets, um, it doesn't makes sense to me to like try to decorate these. Now I did just think about, I could flip, no, I can't, Never mind. Don't listen to me. Um, so it is very simple setup. I did make a little cover using papers from the planner kit. And this is very, very easy to do. Um, all you do is fold a flap and and I didn't actually I don't think I cut down the what am I trying to say I I cut it to the height but I didn't cut off any of the length of the paper and so that allowed me to create a flap and then I made it into like a, a pocket I guess by taping the top and the bottom you can leave it open I just have found that I like having it a bit more secure and then you just slip the insert into the front and the back and um, I kept the cover very simple in fact I didn't do anything to the cover because I loved the collage look of this as is and I didn't really want to mess with it so I left this cover as is this is another insert where I will be pre-decorating especially because the month of December is usually a bit busy and so I will go ahead and do all of the 
color block pages, which I use for little wins in my currently. And then I will go ahead and decorate several, pre-decorate several of the journal pages. So stay tuned for that. And then my final setup is my personal rings. Um, and this cover is from Webster's Pages. It is not available anymore. I apologize. Um, I will say that I think people like Print Pression are having like a mystery box sale on covers, personal size covers. You can get personal size covers from Filofax and there are some other sellers out there that do personal rings. Um, so here's my setup. Um, I used the little bauble from the Christmas kit to like add a little bit of deco. I think it's so cute. Um, and then just some other bits and bobs in the pocket here. Um, this setup has been my sort of general setup for the last couple of months. Um, and I, I will be creating a bingo card for December. So adding things like make Christmas cookies or like go see a holiday show, something like that for my bingo card. Um, I have my this month, I, I left the divider pretty simple again because it was already so wonderfully decorated. I didn't wanna inter, uh, disrupt that. And then I put a pocket on the back and added the notepad from the Christmas kit and a sticky note. And this section is my um, like daily or weekly sort of overview section. So I have like my appointments over here and then some weekly things over here and then it will jump right into my dailies. I have I just posted a video of my how I plan in my dailies. Here is a example of something I would do with my daily pages. Um, but I like to have like a week of dailies and then it goes into my like week overview. These pages are from the Daisy Weeks insert, which I um, take out like the, the, the middle, I don't know, four pages and then we'll end up using them in my personal ring setup because the size is roughly the same. You lose a little bit of like top or bottom, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then again, into the dailies. And I have that for this whole section. And then the next section is my creative section. I use the card from the planner kit and I put it inside a pocket so it actually does come out. Boop, boop. And, you know, just a little bit of deco here and there. This section is my creative weekly section. So, like, this is where I use all the stickers and the stamping and the, you know, the all the things. Just, like, the fun section. When the week is over, I'll go in and add, like, a few details on this weekly page. I don't really use these pages. If when I do use them, I have used them in the past for brain dumps or um, like mini memory keeping. Um, so there are uses for them. I'm just not currently using them. Maybe what would be fun on these is like something, like something December holiday related. I don't know. Um, but for right now, I'm not using them and that's okay. This is actually my favorite dashboard. Um, I used some of the paper scraps from both these setups to make um, these little sec these little, I don't know, this collage, I guess. And I love it, it's so cute. And, um, and then this is my notes section. So I have a couple extra um, notes. I have a couple extra pages from the week's notebook in my notes section. And then I just have like notes, <clears throat> excuse me, notes paper in the back. And that is my setup using the Cedar and Snow collection. I will be sharing, wow, <clears throat> I will be sharing more videos to come. Um, 
with um, like actual setup and prep and all that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.